Welcome back to AM Northwest. When it comes to how our bodies look, we're often our own worst critic and thinking that happiness is just 10 pounds away. Our next guest was no different here to share how she stopped focusing on the scale and started to look at something bigger. We welcome Jenny Schatzel. Good to have you with us. Hi, thank you. So tell me about how you came to this realization. And first of all, congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you. That's Pregnant awesome. with twin girls. Oh, that's so <laughs> great. I know. How cool is that? Yeah, six yeah. months. I got three months to go. Wow. So I feel great and I'm happy to be here. Awesome. So how did you come to this realization? about how body shaming did not help you any. You know, I've been a trainer and in this fitness industry for about 17 years and I've done everything I was supposed to do. I weighed people in, I did measurements, I did their before and afters and what I realized and I put people on really restrictive diets, what I realized was people lost weight but they never kept it off and they weren't happy. Right. You know, they said, oh, if I just lost this 10 pounds, then I would be happy. That's my mindset. If I could just lose 10 more pounds. And here's yeah. the problem. We're basing our happiness on a number on the scale. Right. Right. On a piece of machinery. Right. I mean, people get up and the first thing they do is weigh themselves and right. determine if today is going to be, be a good, good or day? bad day yes. based on a number on the scale. Yes. And then the bigger picture is our children are seeing this. Right. And this is the message that we're sending to our children, especially our young girls. You know, society, I think we've done enough body shaming and we need to change that. Well, I have some before and after pictures that I want to have our audience see and then you tell me what we're seeing and how you connected with those pictures. Yes. So tell me about this. Okay, well first of all, this one is actually um, in the bathing suit, I'm 15 pounds heavier. What? Yeah. Then, so then, then, then the, the picture on the left? Yep. So the one where I'm in the overalls, I'm 130 pounds. And the one in the bathing suit, I'm 145 pounds. How is that possible? And the only reason I know that is because I no longer weigh myself. It's just I had gone to the doctor. and But the one where I'm in the overalls, I was depressed. Yeah. I was so focused on how much I weighed. My whole happiness was on whether I had gained or lost five pounds. Right. And, you know, I really started changing, rewiring the way that I thought about my body and my life. And looking in the mirror and instead of seeing what needed to change right I started looking at what was right with my body so how can we do that so what we need to do is one we need to stop comparing ourselves to other people right and you know everywhere we go social media magazines people in the store our friends our family we're actually disempowering ourselves we have no idea what other people's stories are right. and we can look at somebody and say oh my gosh you're so gorgeous you're so right. beautiful you have it all together when we really have no idea and so we're actually taking our own joy away mm -hmm. by placing other people on a pedestal. And we need to really focus on what we've got going on. Well, as a fitness trainer, though, some people would say to you, well, it's about health. You should lose the weight because you need to be healthy. Absolutely. And, you know, our whole approach is do what makes you feel good. Okay. Right? Listen to your body. I always tell people, eating a pint of Ben & Jerry's, you don't feel awesome after, right? right. And they're like, yeah, I can't wait to go work out. You well, feel pretty good during. You feel pretty good. But oh, there's this guilt and shame. And so a lot of that, if we're talking about food, power is a lot of food for a lot of people. And so once we take that power away and no more, uh, you know, we're not connecting food with guilt and shame, right. we've actually taken the power back into ourselves. Do you think that this, um, the, the social media aspect of it may have increased like bulimia and anorexia because of so many kids? Absolutely. On Absolutely. I mean, we are literally putting out unrealistic goals. Right. You know, we... 50% of girls ages 5 to 12 are now on a diet. That's alarming. Yeah. Yeah. And and I got to be honest, as mothers, we are producing that in our own homes. Every time we step on the scale, every time we say I'm fat, I need to lose weight, I'm starting a diet, our children hear that. Right. When you you say to start your morning by looking in the mirror and giving an I am statement. Yes. So I'm really big on we are who we say we are. And so many people, so many of us are walking around saying I'm tired, I'm fat, I'm old. And literally this is the energy we're creating not only in ourselves but what we're telling other people. Right. Why are we not walking around saying, I'm smart, I'm successful, I'm fit, I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm awesome? Could you imagine if you started your day that right, way? Right, right. So that's, that's how you should start it. Absolutely. Okay. So I tell everybody, one thing is first wake up just with one positive I am statement. Okay. Okay. So again, so many people, the first thing they'll say is, I'm so tired after sleeping. Right. Right. So let's change that. So first, you know, I'm smart, I'm 
So we'll start with an I am statement. Second thing is, let's start looking in the mirror and saying one thing that we love about our bodies. Okay. So let's focus on the good right. instead of constantly what we think needs to change. And also, I would guess that you're you're against the, the latest diets that, that's out there. Yes, I'm just going to be honest. Diets don't work. Mm -hmm. We've all tried them. If diets worked, you would never have to get off it, right? right. You'd never have to start over. You'd never have to restart on Monday. You, If diets work, we'd all be the size we want to be. So I really believe in taking the power away from food and putting it back to ourselves. So what I believe is let's listen to our bodies. Eat what makes you feel good. If something doesn't make you feel good, why do we keep doing it? Right. And how do you approach when it comes to eating? How do you approach when it comes to being pregnant? And you're pregnant with twins, so. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? I absolutely listen to my body. And ever since I stopped really labeling food like, oh, I can have this or I can't have this, you know, I, I dieted most of my life. And I was kind of a binge eater. I was either binging or I was eating clean. Right. I was always restarting on Monday. And it was just a really toxic cycle. So I had to get off of that. And once I did that and I realized food is just food. Yeah. Why am I allowing it to have so much power? Right. It's like all people talk about. It's what we bond over. Sure. When really, we need to have more intelligent, emotional conversations with one another. Absolutely. As opposed to like, what did you eat last night? Let's take a look at one more before and after picture and then you yeah. tell me what was going on during those pictures. So this. Yes. Okay. So this is, this is a really great example is, um, you know, most of us, we all have this goal weight. And the problem is when we're dieting, when we get to that goal weight, we don't even know it. Right. So this picture of me in the blue bathing suit, I was probably in the best shape of my life and I never knew it because all I ever saw when I looked in the mirror was what still needed to change. Oh, wow. So I would look and say, oh, my butt needs to be a little higher. My back could be more toned. Wow. But yeah. I'm looking at that. That looks great. <laughs> I look amazing. Yeah, you look amazing. Yes, but here's the problem with the diet and the body shaming. We're always so focused on what's wrong right. that we're missing out on what's, what's right. right. So even when you're there, even when you have your ideal body, we don't know it. Right. Fascinating. Thank you so much. Uh, Jenny, this was really a great conversation. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't